what's up guys? My name is Daniel and we are here with Ed at GI Tactical. And uh, Ed, what do you do here at GI Tactical? I'm the store manager of the GI Tactical here in Richmond, Virginia. So how do you like that so far? Uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, as with anything, there are pros and cons to it. Uh, but overall, it's probably the best job I've had. Awesome, well I know that you've been playing Airsoft for a long time. How many years have you been playing and how many different guns do you think you had? Like I think that's one of the big perks of this job is working with the stuff that we like. Oh absolutely, I my first introduction to Airsoft was, gosh, probably about 18 years ago. Um, we had spring pistols, my background's in law enforcement, so we'd use them as training aids. Gotcha. So that was kind of how we started. Mm -hmm. um, then actually I ended up getting into paintball mm -hmm. um, up in Vermont, which is kind of viewed as a little bit of more like the birthplace of paintball. Okay. Played at some great fields, a lot of fields. It was before speedball started. And then I came down to Richmond, Virginia, where I've been now for about six years. And shortly after I got back here, got back into, started looking for a paintball field, to be honest, and ran mm -hmm. across this airsoft, and I was like, hey, I remember doing this. Mm -hmm. And went to uh, one of the local fields one day when they were having a game, saw it and went, those were not the kind of guns I was used to doing. Yeah, it's definitely um, a lot This is better. a lot higher yeah. here. I need to know more about this, because this <laughs> looks like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of when I started. Awesome, very cool. What would you say your favorite airsoft gun is? Um, a lot of people who, already know me will probably say, oh, Ed, your favorite airsoft gun is your Polar Star. Actually, that's not exactly true. Um, my favorite airsoft gun right now is my uh, HK VFC 416. Ooh, that's, a, that's a great I gun. really like that. That's the one I'm working on doing a few tweaks, a few upgrades. Don't get me wrong, I love my Polar Star. Mm -hmm. I have a really awesome G&G &G EBR Long, which I really like. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to pick one mm -hmm. gun that I'm like, oh, I really want to get that. Well, that's not really a bad problem to have. No, which one do not. I like more? Uh, which one my do Polar I like more? Star or my VFC yeah, it's, 416? It's, it's, it's a good position to be in. Definitely. All right, and the last question I'll ask you, you have an interesting call sign. What is your call sign? And can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about that? Um, my call sign is Meerkat. And um, funnily enough, um, Jay was the one that came up with that shortly after GI Tactical the store started and we were busily filling it. Naturally, we're talking about each other's gameplay and stuff like that and some of our stories. And I was telling Jay a story which I've actually forgotten now, but it involved me popping in and out, in and out, uh, up and down, just peeking, looking. And Jay said, wow, you sound like a meerkat. <laughs> And that's how it kind of started. And you know, a lot of us here say you can't pick your nickname. It comes naturally. It's you've got to do something yeah. that you know everybody suddenly gives you that nickname. So that's how I ended up with Meerkat. Awesome. I think that might stick for quite some time. I, I think so. I'm rather fond of it. Very cool. All right, Ed. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Keep up the hard work. Much appreciated. Thank you. Take care, everyone.